Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And you know what? There are some days I just cannot get along with myself. And I've kind of been in that place right now because there's just so much noise going on in my apartment and outside of my apartment as they're trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done in the building and on the exterior of the building before we go into the deep freeze. This is in October 2019 if you're just watching this at some later date. But have you ever been in such a childish mood that you wish you could send your inner child to their room by themselves? Unfortunately, I can't do that. Wherever my inner child goes, I gotta go too. But sometimes that inner child is simply impossible to reason with. She's having an inner temper tantrum. When I'm in such a mood, I tend to isolate from other people because I just don't want to contaminate them with my stuff. I don't want my attitudes to seep into the conversations. I don't want to be a party pooper. I don't want to be serving hors d'oeuvres of bitterness and resentment. And so my personality goes that I kind of tend to isolate and withdraw. When I'm in that kind of mood, I try to isolate from God as well, but that doesn't go very far because he lives within me. And so he's pretty well aware all the time of what's going on inside of me. I somehow think my willpower is going to will me out of that place that I just cannot get myself out of. Part of me thinks, well, I don't want God to have to deal with my churlish little inner child either. I mean, I have a hard time with her by myself. But I do know that that tactic does little to change my attitude. And if anything, it reinforces my mindset and it brings me to a place of self-pity. Oh, I'm such damaged goods that, you know, it's better if I just isolate me from the world that type of attitude. So I have a choice to make. I could stay in my pity party, me, myself, and my cantankerous inner child, or I can take God's advice. I can take his invitation and talk about it with him. His invitation also extends to that tantrum-driven, unreasonable inner child as well. Isaiah 1 verse 18, one of my favorite verses Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they are red like crimson, they shall become white as wool. He invites me to bring all my excess stuff, my cloud of gloom and doom, my little tidbits of self-pity and unbelief. He says, bring them all in, let's deal with it. And he gives me his peace in exchange. Philippians 4, verse 5 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We can choose to stay in a funk, or we can choose to allow his cleansing refreshing presence to draw us into conversation. Repentance, forgiveness, and restoration. That's what the kingdom is all about. We can choose to serve ourselves, or we can choose to submit our hearts to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Joshua 24 verse 15. Choose you this day whom you will serve. I made the decision a long time ago, and God keeps on reminding me about it. For me and my house, we choose to serve the Lord.